Hello everyone, my name is Rakesh. I'm a postdoctoral fellow at University of Alberta. Today, I'm going to talk about the development of next generation high entry PLI through semi autonomous depollution techniques for sustainable industrial features. The components that have been utilized in a wide range of industries, such as marine, energy, and aerospace, are required to sustain severe degradation that results in wear and corrosion. The traditional materials for well, these components have shown limited capability to address such degradations that resulted in catastrophic failure of the components and thereby increased economic cost. According to a survey reported by National Association of Corrosion Engineers, suggests that the overall tribal corrosion perform overall cost of tribal corrosion increased to $139 billion for the different sectors. Therefore, it is essential to address these degradation problems with the help of advanced materials. A relatively new class of advanced material, known as high-entry PLI, have, has emerged recently. Unlike the traditional design concept that has one principal element, for example, iron and steel, where HE comprised of one of five or more principal elements with equal or nearly equal fractions. Owing to this complex mixing, HE favors different contributing factors which are not followed by the traditional light design. So such contributing factors favor the immense properties in terms of high uh, in terms of higher fracture toughness to yield strength synergy, better cavitation performance and corrosion performance as well. In my study I utilize a new generation composition based on aluminum cobalt chrome wire and moly mixed for prolonged hours to become a shear feedstock. This feedstock powder has been characterized using scanning ultron microscope. The result shows that the particles are agglomerated with irregular in shapes with an average particles around 15 micrometer. Energy dispersive spectroscopy study suggests that each particles are homogenized and the chemical composition of these particles are in line with the nominal composition as shown here. Table. Two techniques such as cold spray and flame spray have been utilized to deposit HA feedstone. Cold spray, on the one hand, is a low temperature heat source solid state deposition technique where the particles, unmelted particles, are accelerated through D well allowing nozzle to impact successfully on the substrate at high velocity. Flame spray, on the other hand, utilizes high temperature heat source where the powder particle melts and propels towards the substrate to form a thick coating. Microstructural results suggest that both the coating exhibit at BCC phases. Well, interestingly, flame spray shows the presence of oxides. This is attributed to the formation of in-flight oxidation during spraying for flame spray coatings. Scanning ultra microscopy suggests that the cores were exhibited significantly plastic deformation with an absence of cracks and pores, whereas flame spray exhibited numerous cracks and pores. The porosity measure is around 1.7 percentage for the flame spray, and the average coating thickness is around 421 micrometer, respectively. It acts also confirms that the flame spray shows oxides and the traces of carbides, whereas cold spray showed minimal oxides and carbides. Micro harness shows that the flame spray results about 40% better harness than the cold spray coatings, which is due to the formation of oxides that are brittle in nature. The comparative study shows that the flame spray coating is 1.5 times better than the harness than atmospheric plasma nickel-based coating, which is due to the presence of BCC phases and oxides. Abrasive studies of the coatings have been performed, where both the coating shows better than the aluminum substrate, but the flame spray shows the highest wear resistance, which is 24% better than cold spray, which is due to the higher hardness. The higher the hardness, the lower the wear, which is correlated with the micro hardness. The comparative study shows that the HA composition is two to five times better wear resistance than the traditional materials and alloys, but are almost similar to that of expensive hard ceramic coatings. By in conclusion, 
This proposed composition can be a potential for different industrial application for sustainable industrial futures. Thank you for listening to my presentation. Have a